Hey guys, this is your boy Marcus, and welcome back to the Marcus Mafia Master League episode number 14. As you can see, I try and get into a quick match. Do I even try and get into a quick match? I don't even try and get into a quick match. What I'm talking about. I go into the advanced player search and I go to, I believe it is Japan, because Japan people are amazing in this game because the game is made by Japan, by, by Konami, who are Japanese. But as you can see, I go through and I look through the players. And I want to change it to overall ratings, ascending order. And I go for the players, I'm thinking, eh, Tahaka, he looking really pretty decent. But do I really need them? No. I don't need anyone at the current moment. I don't even think I, I end up buying someone in this episode, which is a pretty big signing. Eh, as a Scotsman, you'd think he would be, he's quite popular in the SBR. Um, <laughs> he's maybe quite popular even in the world, I don't even know, but. I'll go and see. He's a goal scorer from Euro 2012. He's not the top goal scorer, but he's a goal scorer in Euro 2012. But as you can see, I go through, I go through all the sort of just random countries. I want to add a little bit more uh, favorite players, because in fact that my favorites list is starting to get a bit full. But as you can see, I wanted to aim for players who are much better. But as I go to Ivory Coast, and I'm thinking, I wanted to look for um, Lucina Traore, who plays, who played for Cluj last season, and he's playing for Anzi Makalakala this season. Or Anzi Maka Jakala, whatever the hell it is. Anzi Maka Lakalakala. Yes, um, there. <laughs> but I end up I'm just adding Kader Keita because I can't seem to find him. I don't think he's actually in the game, which is a bit disappointing because he is a really good player. But as you see, I go into Germany and I go to the player which everyone is wanting. And I only have one million, so I wanted more. So add Gundogan, Kadira, Chachowski, all to the favourites list. Add Tremel as well. Cause, and Zeeler because they're really good. But as you can see, I'm looking through the players. Draxler, hmm, he's alright, so I'll add him as well. And I'll go through Gutsa, uh, I don't really want Gutsa. Reus, 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 whatever his name is. They are the players that I want. But they're, they'll put me back with like 5 million, so I need to I need to start saving some money up. So, at the end of this episode, I hopefully I'll have like 3 million, probably. So, I'll hopefully be able to like either buy players or just just basically keep them keep the money I, my next buy which I'm going to make has to be Marco Reyes I'm not even lying Marco Reyes and Lulina because they've been asked for so much in the comments but yes Marco Reyes and Lulina I will be buying them both in probably the next episode in number 15 in the 1-5 big 1-5 yes I'll be probably buying them in that one I'll just try and save the money I'll try and get loads of games through and I'll just try and save the money if I don't if I don't buy them I'll shoot myself. No, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll just, I'll think of a good option. I'll think of, I won't buy any other players. So I'll just play games to try and get money. And that's all what I want to do in this. I love just getting money. As you can tell from Stokes just, from The Strokes just came on, which is a fantastic song. But as you can see, I got rid of all the game audio because the game audio would be all quickened up and the song would sound really, 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 really weird. I don't know what I was doing just looking at Georgia, but. As you can see, I go into I don't even know bloody uh, Belgium because <laughs> I wanted to look for um, Shite, who's uh, he's actually a really good player. I, I thought that was a real Lukaku, but there's a real Lukaku. He's much more popular. And I was going to buy Kevin Morales, but he's got a three star, a three, but I think it's a three star popular popular rating, and he'll be so expensive for me to buy. I mean, the likes of Martins, Martins only has one, and he's a really good player. So I was expecting a little bit more, but. And expect, but as you see from the last game, if you've not watched the last game, go. I'll put a link in the description, and or just go on my channel and look at it. But as you can see, in the last game, I changed it so I played two up front. And this game, I do do the same thing. I want, I want to make it so I play two up front a lot more. So again, I get paired for a guy who's a hundred um, ninety four better than me. Ninety four. He's got Kenwin Jones up front, Kakuta at the right wing, Rosenhow at left at right back, and O'Shea and Johnny Evans is smalling at his set at his uh, defensive pairings. And but for this game, I do change it so to play four five one because Gilas was not in happy form. So many players just I was going to play Marquinhos up front with, with Kalinic, but it wouldn't work because for some reason Marquinhos was also unhappy. So. The game kicks off and he's playing as a Juventus base team, which hmm, I'm, I'm not a bit mad against. I'm not even against because Juventus are a fantastic side in real life as well as in the game. And he has the first shot and again, Casper Schmeichel making a good save, even though he did mess up in the last game and um, in the last couple games. He's he's a good keeper. I'm not gonna lie, but he does score a fantastic goal. I don't watch. I don't want to watch the celebration, but I do end up watching the goal. The goal was absolutely amazing. 
The majority of goals which seem to be getting scored against me are either going to be sweaty goals or they're going to be absolutely fantastic finishing. So I actually get the ball and he just volleys it. Fantastic shot. And again, I thought he was offside. He thought he was offside, so he tried to pause the game because he thought he was offside. And look at this wonderful editing coming up. Look at it. Wait, wait, you'll see it. Here it is now. Oh, offside or not. He's not offside at all. But <laughs> fantastic editing by me. Yeah, um... As you can see, I had five for three shots, he had four for three. And the second half kicks off, I really did deserve some sort of like, goal or compensation or anything. So when looking at them, gets down to the left. It, it took me, he, he, he had a really good team. His team was really, really well sort of prepared to deal with my players. But then again, that's expected considering his team was 94 better rating than mine. But again, Kevin Jones gets away, he shoots and Casper Schmeichel makes another fantastic save to keep the score down to quite a minimal. But he ends up time wasting a bit, and the game ends two 0 to him. So my winning streak is over. Yeah, well, my unbeaten streak is over. I wasn't really ever really winning. But I give him fair play. I always give him fair play. I love, I love just giving people fair play. I don't care if they don't give me fair play back. Basically, see, I go down by three, by down by six, and he goes up by six. Really, I should go down by like zero, and he should go up by like two. But I only get three hundred grand, and this is a bit where it's retarded. I don't think no. Nah, I was gonna, I was going to not buy any players, but I end up needing a new striker because when I don't have two strikers up front, it's basically ridiculous. But as you see, I get, I remove people from my favourites. I don't need Barros. I don't need Padan. I don't need Welding them anymore. I've got them. I don't remember if I remove Robbie Keane. I shouldn't remove Robbie Keane because he is a fantastic player. No, I do not remove Robbie Keane. I just remove Kalinic. Do I remove Long? Don't tell me I remove Long. No, I don't remove Long. And I was going to think about buying a new striker, so my options were basically Jamie Mackey, <laughs> Jamie Mackey, uh, Shane Long, Zizhniak, Okaka, uh, Lukaku, or um, Mitroglou, and uh, and of course the big beast, Georgia Samaras. So I end up going through it, and I'm thinking, hmm, maybe need a centre-back, and I'm thinking, eh, nah. And I use, I, I was thinking, about, well, maybe I'll buy Barry Bannon, but he was still a bit too expensive, he was just out of my price range a bit. Popov is such a good player. He was a good player in PES 2011. I remember how good he was. But as you see, I go for the team and I'm thinking, I don't know why I went so far down. I don't, I don't have the money to buy the likes of Paddy McCor and all that. So I was looking at him, I was like, Kasami, Metroglou, hmm, who are right, George Os, Samanas. Use both, use Metroglou as my, as my, as my overall rating. But as you see, Samanas has 77 attack. He was, he's quite a fast player. He's really tall as well, 192 centimeters. And he's got tenacity and really good teamwork. So, and the fact that Samaras is a bit more open to all the movement and all that, so I ended up buying George off Samaras for two million, and I basically just gave me left me with like no money, and I was like, no, but but no. So I ended up putting him on a bench. Really, <laughs> I was like, I'm not even going to play, play him in the first match, which well, that's a lie because I end up do playing him. But as you can see, the team strength has gone from the, the triple digit six to six seven two. But again, I face a guy who's 70 rated better team than me. So annoying, but Richard Hart has to come out because of his bad form. I take Kalinic out because he's a bit tired. But Danny, again, I need to buy a left back. I need to buy another another um, full back because I, every time one of them gets either tired or injured, I cannot play another one because I only have two. Well, I have three, but only one of them can play left back. As you can see, he had Burdetto, Bellamy, DJ Campbell, Dotan, who's actually... Uh, Landon Donovan his goalkeeper was pretty poor Zagnemir and the game kicks off and I don't remember what team he was actually playing I think it was Wolfsburg so he was, it, was a, it was pretty decent yeah his, his name was Garnatova and this game was so so ridiculous I mean Joshua gets a yellow card really early on so I thought oh god this is not going to help my team in any possible way and again Dobby gets a yellow card for that he gets the ball, he hits it away, and for some reason it gives, the ref gives him a yellow card. You've got to be taking the miss. But Wellington then gets it, passes it through to Gilas. The game glitches out a little bit. Gilas tries to, to Gilas just can't get the shot. He gets the shot on target, but he just can't score. But again, all he does is he runs down my wings, Dotan tries to get away from me. Pacini's not taking that and just hacks him. Because <laughs> that's how Pacini rolls. Because Pacini is an absolute, just, ledge. But, um, as a shot, it, hits off the bar and Pacini clears away and Wellington then gets it but Georgia Samanas is away from the centre back no one's going to catch the big Greek away now he is a Euro 2012 goal scorer you have to remember that and that was basically literally just after he had hit the bar I had hit the bar of Gilas from a, from a uh, diving header but again he had chances 
I had chances. But it's coming up to them. It's coming up to more or less half time. Joshua gets the ball, passes to Raj Terrell, who's made a fantastic run on the left side, crosses it in, he can't take control of his left back, and he just ungles it. And I'm like, yes, I've actually got a chance of winning. One of them gets it through ball to Gilas. Gilas is onside. He really should score here. And he just finesses just the goal. He just saves it. Well, again, Casper Schmeichel tries to do something stupid. I get in control. I'm like, what the hell is going on? And he just can't score, which is a bit, a bit disappointing. But again, Casper Schmeichel makes some fantastic saves in this match to actually keep me in the game. You'll see them later on when I'm actually what I'm actually talking about. I mean, that one was so close to going in, and it's half time, and I'm winning. I'm winning. I'm actually beating a player who's 70 rated better than me. I'm actually thinking, hmm, am I actually turning a leaf here? Am I actually going to win something epic? Or am I not? But Josh, wait, uh, from the second half starts, kicks off. And it's a 49th minute. I'm just passing it around with Raj Terrell. A great through ball to Gilas, who's onside. Another through ball down to George or Samanas, who should score here. And he hits it wide. And I'm thinking, oh, God, I just spent two million for a flop. What am I doing? What am I doing? But look, again, Casper Schmeichel doing a great job at the back, just holding onto the ball, not doing anything stupid, just being being George or Samanas. But George or Samanas, again, he gets up, tries to get the ball, can't get it. But, but it's coming up to the eighty seventh minute, and he he tries and he tries a little low cross and Casper Schmeichel again saves the day, a fantastic player and this again he saves a fantastic shot and El Mahamedi gets it away, but he he hits it away but down to down to um Georgia Samras and Georgia Samras makes a great run through the middle coming to the last minute of the match Georgia Samras is away, is anyone going to capture him? No, and he does a fantastic finesse at the bottom corner. Well, technically the near post finish. Another near post finish for this series. It's the third one now. Wellington them scored the first. Calendar scored the second. And I'll technically add that as well as a near post finished. So once again, I win. I actually won a game. He had more possession than me and more interceptions. More passes. Com my passing completion was better than his. So I technically deserve to keep it. But Vukic was man of the match. He was an absolute beast in the middle. I didn't show really any of him, but his tackles were insane. If it wasn't for his tackles, the amount of interceptions would have been so much less. But see, I go up by 12, so I'm back up to professional. I'm getting there. I'm going, I went from being quite low to back, going back up, but I'm, I do get a lot of money from this match. I'm not going to lie. When you beat someone who's much higher rated than you get, not like 10 million, but look at that. 1.1 million. So, I'm going to get there eventually. So my next players I'll be buying will be um, Reus and Lulinha. So those will, those will be expected. And they'll probably be in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more from Marcus Mafia, more from PES 2013, more from FIFA 13, and catch you later.